Good evening guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hey Adam G and we're still on my Miss Universe Philippines 2024 interview series and look who I am here with me right now. My gosh, I can't believe I'm give, being given this opportunity to interview her at this juncture of the competition. So without further ado, here she is. Please say hello to Miss Universe Philippines Tagig 2024. Christy McGarry! Oh my gosh, Kabe naman Adam. Thank you for the wonderful introduction. It's my pleasure to be interviewed by you. Adam, I feel so special. <laughs> Apart from you granting me an interview request for your candidacy here in Miss Philippines, my God, look where we are right now. If I, if I can only turn around my art camera for this. We're here in, guys, we're here in Grand Hyatt Hotel in BGC and I can't believe at the wonderful and amazing accommodation that they have shown us for this interview. So yeah, apparently Grand Hyatt Hotel is backing up Christie's candidacy here for Miss Universe Philippines. Grabe, and dami mo ng sponsors by uh, the day. Uh, super grateful ako dyan. Kasi actually, there's a lot of people and places, establishments that have been really supportive during this journey. So this is definitely also part of the tourism video, uh, just a sneak peek, but um, a lot more to come for sure. My gosh, my gosh. Tagig <laughs> is always well represented in Miss Universe Philippines in the five-year History of Miss Universe Philippines Tagig has done so well in the in this pageant. So at this point in time, ba medyo, how are you handling your the pressure? Well, Shemper Naman, I'm feeling the pressure because Tagig, like you mentioned, has upheld such a high standard and rank throughout the, the years. Um, but I only hope to continue and uh, take the crown home this time around. Oh, oh kaya ba? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, kasi alam mo why? Kasi, let's face it, she's one of the front runners of the competition. So how are you sizing up your your popularity in relation to dealing with pressure and at the same time the comparison with the other contestants? You know, it's not my first rodeo, alam mm -hmm. yan, so I'm just trying to take everything day by day. I'm doing my best not to let the pressure get too to my head because this is such an incredibly strong batch of girls, like, ang dami kami that are like, they can all take home the crown very equally. So I'm not trying to look at, any, at anyone as competition. I'm just trying to focus on myself and I think that's the best strategy that I can do. But you know, I think what makes you such a special candidate here in this competition is that you have already competed before. You're already considered a pageant veteran. You've competed, you've represented our country so many times, multiple times. So <laughs> what makes this season so different from the past? Well, this season is extremely special because as you know, the age restriction has been lifted. And I think the ultimate crown for all of us pageant fans is the Miss Universe Philippines crown. So, that day, you're not allowed to compete before if you had been appointed a crown in Binibini. So, in my head, I thought that dream was going to be put on the back burner. But now the age restriction has been lifted, the stars are aligning, and there's something that's just telling me that it's my right place and time, and I'm a firm believer of everything in its right place and time. And you believe this is the perfect time There's for something you. that's telling me yes so what do you think is your 33 year old self now that she can do that your 25 years 25 year old self wasn't able to do before I think at 25 I still wasn't fully aware of who I was as a woman I was still absolutely learning about myself I was still listening to the opinions of other people and mm. letting that unfortunately get to my head or letting it cause as a distraction. Now at 33, I consider myself much more self-aware, much more self-confident, much more reassured in who I am, and I've already empowered myself as a woman. So I want that to reflect to not only myself, but to other women, to other people, while I'm competing on this journey. That's nice to hear, no? So with, as you get older talaga, maturity and the, the, the confidence and maturity are on a different level versus whether versus when when you were in your t early 20s or late 20s I think most people can attest to that that when you know you're older you gain more knowledge you gain more experience um, you, there's so much more that you've learned within the span of almost a decade mm -hmm. I think people change constantly but that's not to say that you can still can't you know 
remain with your values. You still can't remain about who you truly are. But just the wisdom, the knowledge, and the experience is something that you can apply in you know handling situations, high stress situations, ganon. So handa ka na dito sa mga high stressful situations. I mean, there's yeah. The high stressful situations will happen all the time, uh -huh. especially within this competition. But it's always about how you respond and react to it. Now that I think of it, no, it, this new ruling of Miss Universe has really, you know, favored girls like you. So I want to ask you, you know, with the age limit, marital status, even the height requirement, you know, already gone. I mean, for you, right now, is there anything that Miss Uni that you would like Miss Universe organization to implement some changes about certain things? Honestly, I think that they are taking all the right and proper steps in the proper direction. Um, as far as promoting inclusivity, you know, this year we've seen a caftan walked in the swimsuit competition. We saw Miss Nepal who was promoting body positivity. Mm. There are trans women who are joining. Now that they, there are mothers and wives that are joining. And finally, ageism has been scratched off the board. So. So about inclusive, Nayon. Like, as in, everyone can mm. join as long as you feel like you have the proper capabilities, the passion, the drive, and the you know the reason to show that you can uphold the responsibility to become a Miss Universe or Miss not only a Miss Universe Philippines but a Miss Universe. That's what I think is what's really going to project and allow someone to win that title. And I think you've been showing that in those years that you were away from the pageant scene, because. Yeah, you've been gone for almost nine years, almost right? Almost a decade. Yeah, so what were those significant things that you were doing? Well, um, like I mentioned, Kanina, I was learning about myself. Um, I was learning how to empower myself. Um, I was working on some businesses. I was progressing my career as a professional model. I'm a TV host. I have a, tra a travel show called Beached, which I'm very proud of, where I get to promote ecotourism and travel all around the Philippines and promote tourism to not only people in the Philippines, but all over the world. So I'm really, really proud to have that as one of my missions as well. And also uh, progressing my a career as a DJ, working very closely with the art and music community, which I'm very closely fond fondly knit with. Um, so yeah, and, and now that you know the pageant scene is back, I'm also back in full force, and I'm promising everyone, with the support of all my friends and family, that I will give 100% to this journey. As an ambassador of our, a potential ambassador of our country, what part of our country or of our culture that you would like to highlight? To all the to all the foreign visitors, or even let's say, should you be the one be competing? Should be you be the rep our representative to Mexico mm. later this year? Champagne, our beaches. We have the most beautiful beaches on the planet. I'm an island girl, and nature is at one of the forefronts of my advocacy. I want to promote yeah. sustainability, ecotourism, and also culture preservation, which is working with local communities to allow them. To you know, to be involved in this mission, to educate them how to practice sustainable practices. I'm working with resorts and you know different LGUs. Um, this is something I'm really excited about. And aside from that, also putting Philippine art, culture, fashion at the forefront because we have so many amazingly talented, incredible you know designers, artists um, that are, that are, that are Filipino bread and uh, are Filipino bread. So I just can't wait to showcase that to the rest of the world. Like the one you're wearing today, Mark Bumgarner, of course. Oh my gosh! Love you, Mark and oh Earl. Oh my gosh! Wow, <laughs> Mark Bumgarner, huh? Yes. And then you were wearing Raho Laurel before. I was very during... privileged. Yes. So shall we be expecting? A lot of great things from you in terms of pasabog fashion wise coming soon lots of pasabogs promise. Yeah. yeah i plan to work with a lot of my friends in the industry so i really want to you know showcase my designer friends not just because not for me but for philippine fashion you know and talent and culture like i mentioned so there, you're gonna see some raho you know of course mark i want to work with rj or randolph boom bonita Martin, God, um, there's a lot. Lang lang <laughs> I'm excited. I'm very excited to showcase. My all God, of them. he's he, he's not just dropping any Anthony, designer. Anthony, Anthony as well. My God, so. Anthony Ramirez too. <laughs> Ang sexy ng mga silhouette ni Boom Sason, chaka ni ano ha? Of course. Ni ni Bonita. Well, alam, they know naman that we're going to keep it pageant fresh. So. Mm -hmm. Pageant fresh. <laughs> I like that. I like that. So you know you have this. You have these all. 
amazing things coming for you here in MUP. But outside your, you know, I'm curious to ask, outside your, kasi ako, of course, I just know you as a pageant, you know, as a pageant veteran <laughs> and a DJ. Kasi I would bump into you, I would go to events and bump into you and you're, you would be there, up there DJing. So, <laughs> What does what does a Mac, Christy McGarry do for fun? What do I do for fun? Aside from DJing, which I super enjoy, or visiting art galleries, uh, I love to go to the beach. I love to stay active. I'm an extremely active person. I have a background in sports, so you know, any chance that I get to like go hiking or like you know play any type of sport. I tried kiteboarding the other day. I tried paddle the other day. Um, I just love staying active. I think it's a good way to rejuvenate not only your body, but your mind and mm -hmm. to keep things competitive, not only with other people, but within yourself. So I think it's healthy competition. Are you also an adrenaline junkie? Absolutely. 100%. Really? Yeah. Ride motorcycles, <laughs> you know, wakeboarding. What was the most daring stunt or act have you done? Clip diving like or I also learned, um, I took a crash course in, you know, a super bike at um, Clark Speedway, which was pretty cool. So in all those things that you've done, wala wala kang hindi ka parang na accident, you never encountered a freak accident or lahat yon parang you were able to do it. I did crash uh -huh. once on the superbike, but I came out unscathed. Um, I broken my ankles playing uh -huh. one time skateboarding and the other time just hiking, but that was a long time ago. So in pagiging sports junkie mo, you brought it to how you have lived your life. Super spontaneous. I love Discipline. to have fun. You think that I, I'm, I'm just prim and proper and deep. I'm just, I like to have fun. I really like to let loose. If you see me off cam, I like to say I have alter egos, so I know how to turn all of them oh. on. So who's your alter ego? Of course, I have a DJ alter ego. I have my adrenaline junkie alter ego. And this is my, you know, Miss Alter Ego. But they all coincide as Christy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Apart from prim and proper, yeah, I always see you, you know, I have this misconception about you na, you know, uh, you're a happy-go-lucky person. But whenever I see your photos on social media, wow, she's living the best time of her life, oh. going from one place to another. So I wonder, has there been one challenge that you've encountered before that you were able to overcome recently? Recently, um, I, I lost my hearing for a short, short while in my right ear. So Why is that so? Um, I'm a free diver and scuba diver, so I don't know if that was something that affected it. But sorbon taka to kajan kasi like you imagine you wake up one morning oh. and then like I couldn't. You're gonna be you gotta be Yeah, like I was like, is this gonna hearing. is this going to affect me long term? Am I is it gonna affect my DJing? Am I going to be able to dive and free dive again? But luckily, within a couple of weeks, it, it went away. But it was definitely a shocker. But uh, I've learned never to take anything for granted, especially your senses. So I get why you're competing here in Miss Universe Philippines. Kahit na alam mo yun, it's very risky, it's bardagulan given your competitive background. Mm -hmm. Parang feeling ko maning mani lang sa'yo, if ever, ang MUP. Kasi parang you've done so many thrilling, thrill-seeking things, adventures <laughs> in the past. So parang sashay-sashay ka na lang siguro sa rampa and I'm... then sasagot ka na lang ng... <laughs> it's more serious than that. I'm definitely taking it. This is also an adrenaline sport. Uh -huh. like, yes, yes. <laughs> there's a lot of I training would... involved. There's a lot of extreme preparation. So again, I'm not taking anything for granted, and I'm also going to, um, I'm going to compete my best, but I'm also still going to have fun. I'm going to make sure I don't take that away from, you know, my my journey as far as taking things too seriously, where it's going to affect my, you know, my mental health or the way I deliver myself on stage. I want to be remain approachable and warm. Mm -hmm. I want to bring people along with my journey and I want them to know that they're, they're just as much as a part of it as, you know, every single person, including you. Yeah. Has <laughs> someone told you that you're not approachable? <laughs> I've been told that actually a couple of times, but I hope, I hope throughout this journey that I'm able to debunk that or people yeah. can see naman that. Paano? Maeta so, <laughs> oo nga eh. <laughs> Tapos, si Pia ba, hindi ka ba nahahawaan ng kalodyologa ni Pia? Si Pia, kahit ganyan-ganyan si Pia, aura-aura sa, sa, in front of the camera, but behind the scenes, she, she seems course, to be wacky. Of course, you know, her super down-to-earth, like, super, yeah, yeah Pia's amazing. So. Pero alam mo what, as I look at you now, 
apart from your Rampadora skills, I realized ko, you know, you have this type of Filipino beauty that foreigners would really kill for. You know how it's how it is, mm-hmm. especially if you relate that in the pageant scene. Let's, let's say if I, you you or you know, side you have there's this, you know, <laughs> yeah. Let me. I, you have this look that that uh, foreign judges would really love, and. Yun yung feeling ko, tapos sa Mexico pa gaganapin, bardagulan din doon, Latina atmosphere, tapos mm. chill, medyo late baka pa. So parang feeling ko, pwede, ano talaga? Yes. Pwedeng, pwedeng mag, <laughs> ano lahat, mag, mag-align, pwedeng lahat. If you think about it, if you're imagining it as early as now. I'm definitely manifesting it as much as I can. And like you mentioned, I really want to also make, you know, I, I want to bring Morena Morena Beauty back onto the stage. It's been a while, I think, since we've had a Morena win. So, oh, yun, no. yun, when was yeah, the last I'm very time? proud. I'm very proud to be to be Morena and represent that 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 aspect of Filipino beauty. Yeah, no, it's about time, especially na matas pa yung colonial mentality natin dito sa bansang to, mm-hmm. diba? I know, you know what? As much as I'm enjoying this interview, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I have to end this now. I'm under time constraints. Okay, so you know, since yes. we're talking about your Sayang. beauty and how it could be and how it could you know benefit our country, assuming you you end up representing us in Miss Universe, I wonder, as early as now, you know, two questions. Oh, wow. What makes Pressure. you that phenomenal transformational Filipina that the organization is looking for right now? I think given my, not only my experience, but also, you know, my knowledge, my self-awareness, and I think my natural confidence, I'm going to be able to really showcase that and make Filipinos proud on the international stage. I think they need someone who has a global approach and understanding. And I feel like that's something that I can carry while still upholding Filipino roots, Filipino culture, you know, and values, but still adhering to and, you know, making sure that it's shown on a global and international level. I know, I know you, you, you haven't, I know you have represented uh, our country before, but if you'll be given a chance to represent our country right now, how do you think you could be that iconic Pinoy ambassadress for our country to the universe? Well, if I win the crown, I promise to uphold, you know, the Philippine culture and the pride to its fullest because that talaga is what we're mostly known for, our nationalism, our pride, and being, being, being able to showcase that across the world. Because even this, this year, Deba, there's girls who are competing from overseas communities. I myself, you know, was born and raised um, in New Jersey and New York. So that, did, that never shied away from who my true Filipina values, roots, and traditions were that I carry with me throughout my entire life. So that was what I really hope that I can showcase on the international level and be able to invite people from all over the world to come to the Philippines and enjoy our people, our culture, our islands, and our beauty. Oh my God, I can't wait. <laughs> well, I hope that will come into fruition, you know. <laughs> yeah. So thank you so, so much. Adam, thank Christy. you. Thank, thank, you so so thank you so much for, for this interview the and the time. The pleasure is mine, talaga. Thank you so much for granting me this this interview despite your of very course. hectic schedule. Shout out thank to the whole God. Miss Universe Philippines, the gig organization led by Shout Sir J. Mama Angel Kumia for making this interview possible. So, guys, abangan yung more pasabogs coming from this. Promise. More, more Rampadora, pasabogs. Amazona, <laughs> Filipina queen we have here oh, right thank now. You, Adam. So God bless you guys. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you learn a lot more from Christy McCary this time around. See you on my next interview. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.